Hi, this is Wencourt from the Vengeance branch of Team Royal, and today I'm bringing you the second part of my sniper series, which is about competitive gaming and sniping, as I get a nice drag shot right there. And uh, competitive sniping is something that you guys might watch because Machinima Respawn, as many of you probably know, is doing a series on the Frag Cup, which is a competitive tournament. And I'm making this video to show you what you might see and how you can use it to your advantage. Now, a lot of teams don't have a sniper, but in the competitive aspect, I think a sniper is one of the most important people that you can have on your team. Uh, most teams usually only have one sniper, and there's really no need for more than one. You might see teams such as Optic or other teams that like to quickscope. If they're way ahead, they all use snipers because that's what they're known for. But most of the teams that are towards the top in a close match will probably have one sniper and using this setup. And the setup I'm using today is the 50 cal with a thermal scope. And the reason for the thermal scope is because in competitive gameplay, all kill streaks are turned off. So nobody will use cold blooded and it'll be extremely easy to snipe without anybody using cold blooded when you're using thermal. Uh, the second aspect of this class is the 50 cal. And it's because it's basically the intervention with the faster rate of fire and the kick returns in right to where you initially shot from. So you can get off more accurate shots faster. Uh, my secondary today is the Rafika. And most people will either be using the Rafika or the dual glocks when sniping. The only advantage to the Rafika is that it switches out faster. The dual glocks are the most powerful secondary, I think, in this game. And that's what many people use in competitive. But with sniping, you might get into a sticky situation and need to switch fast, so they might use the Rafika. Uh, my secondary grenade, or special grenade, I should have been using a smoke grenade here. Because with thermal, you're the only one that can see through it. So I think I just forgot to put it on, and I still have stunts. Um, the goal of a sniper in competitive is to spawn trap the other team. Now here I'm not playing with a well-organized team, so I can't like tell them how we're going to spawn trap or you know, they can't tell me where to shoot from. And I can't call out positions real well because I don't think any of them had mics, maybe a couple. But uh, the goal is to spawn trap the other team, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm sitting watching this hallway, so when they spawn, they if they run down this hallway, I'll put shots on them. And I'm trying to instill a fear in them so they don't run down this middle way. That way, I can be the only person watching this middle way, and the rest of my team can be on the sides getting ready to take them as they go out the sides. And that would put our team at a huge, huge advantage. This is why a sniper is so important in the competitive field, is because you can put your team at a huge advantage. Uh, the other, uh, I guess, areas of specialty that a competitive sniper needs to be aware of is they need to call out routes that the other team might be going. As you see here, I am trying to guard this kid's care package and I'm trying to look where they might be going from when I have called in my predator and when I was sniping. And then they need to install a revenge factor where the whole team wants to kill this sniper. Because if the whole team wants to kill the sniper, then your team knows exactly where they're going to be heading. Um, on to my next, the future of this series, I'm going to be making my quickscope video next and it'll be longer than this. I'm trying to debate if I want to do a free-for-all or a team deathmatch. A free-for-all would probably be more exciting, but there's also worse kids in free-for-all, which might not be such an accurate representation of what you could go for. But I'll teach you how to quickscope in that and teach you why it's effective and how to have fun doing it. And then tonight, I think I'm going to record some Bad Company 2 videos and put those up for you because I love that game a uh, hundred times more than this game. And I think that would be fun. So, once again, top score. And 15 and 2, and I got spawn killed once, so pretty much 15 and 1. And successful win. So this is Wencourt signing off. Until next time.